There's better things to spend your energy on. Moira is OP in deathmatch. Touch from afar. Ah, oh, she finally hit me. That was a masterclass in timing attacks, by the way. This isn't her being a bad aimer. It was only to be expected. This is simply, we're dangling ourselves out there to be shot, and then we know the timing that she's going to attack, and we're moving just before it. Then we are anticipating that she is going to delay her attacks after about the third or fourth one. She's going to wait for me to move because she's figured out what I'm doing. So then we do the same thing, right? We bait the nade there with the fade. We can still be okay here because she hasn't got a nade. Unsightly. Um... So yeah, as I was saying, we're we're dangling ourselves out there, we're timing the attacks, then we anticipate that she's going to do it, so we do one extra movement to almost reset it, and then when she starts to get low health, she panics and fires back at max fire rate again. And you can do the same thing with the Widows as well. See? Just chilled and relaxed. If we go like this... The Widow's anticipating that, right? And she's just going to wait for us to cross through her crosshair. And then she's going to shoot us. This will be an interesting one if she pushes that, because she can anti me knowing the orb's active. Two of them! Oh, that's just not fair. Oh, double slept? Oh. Of course, you can't time the dynamite attacks. Have ult. We're timing the ash behind us right now. An I wanted to bounce it because she was going to move to the right if I fire a damage orb. 
We must all make sacrifices in the name of science. This is why I really like like deathmatch mode as warm-ups for games. Because when you find yourself being pressured by a flanker, you can do the same thing. And it doesn't just work with the slow-firing heroes. There's techniques as well for the fast-firing heroes. It's been With good Hanzos, there's almost like the rule of three. Oh, the Hawkats pushed me there. We nearly timed, but he was a little bit too close. We timed the hook great. We timed the stun great. We're gonna call for the health regen. Just kill the Kree because I can't bother to deal with him when his stun comes back up. Slight problem. Gotta buy time for our uh, cooldowns. Oh, 